What's up guys, this is the best 5454 here with another video. And today I have a cold. <laughs> I don't like it, but and I've got my glasses. I'm just gonna which you probably won't know that I actually wear glasses because I never do in my videos. Why don't I wear my glasses in my videos? My last video you know, freaky video. This video is freaky. I don't know what it's called. Freakiness. I don't like you seeing a reflection where I wear it. I know I could do this, but that look a bit like stupid. I look like I'm an idiot if I do that. Just put my head down all the time. And you're just thinking, what, what are you doing? Well, that explains a lot. Why I don't wear glasses. But I do wear glasses. So, yeah. I've got them right in my hand. Uh, orange, always my favourite colour, of course. You should know that. And there's one, you know, in case you're a new guy or something. A new guy or girl, but... Yeah, I'm just going to talk about you to some things today, like, I've also got mucus in my throat all the time and I hate it, this stuck there and it ugh, feels so uncomfortable, I mean I've only just wake, woken up so I've still got my pyjamas on, it's quite early. This means quite late for me because I wake up at like 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. I know, not ideal for a kid my age, but even still, I don't really care. Can't get back to sleep, so what else am I supposed to do? I normally, if I wake up really early, I normally just lie there. With my eyes closed in bed, not actually sleep though, because, like I said, I can't get to sleep. Sometimes I just keep my eyes open, because I know I won't be able to get to sleep anyways. So, yeah. Oh yeah, my eyes always itches, guys. I don't know why it always does. It just does. Ah, and his eye was like, his eye is like stinging from yesterday. I don't really know why. Ugh, he always itch as soon as I wake up. I don't know why. I just always feel tired as soon as I wake up. I mean, like I do stuff. Luckily I'm not going to be tired to go to a theme park I'm going to today. Because I am going to one. But, a Christmas special one. That's great in manner. So, yeah. Most people have heard of Alton Towers or something. That's a very popular theme park. But I'm not going there. I always go to Dorito Manor every Christmas. We get to see Santa in his grotto and go on the big rides. And stuff. It's really exciting. But tomorrow, I'm also going to decorate my Christmas tree. Our Christmas tree, I mean. I wonder if it was, what if it was mine. I, I mean, I do. I have like a, a white small Christmas tree in my bedroom and... My sister's bedroom as well as just in downstairs in the living room, front room. That's where we have a Christmas tree. The big Christmas tree is in front room. Of course, duh. Why wouldn't they be in there? It's the biggest room of the house. I think it's the front room of the house as well. 
because it leads us into God. Pretty sure that's the same with most people. Like, who would find a kitchen leading into a garden? I don't know, maybe you do. I'm not saying that it has to, but just saying most houses, front rooms does lead into the garden. I'm just thinking, why would another room do it? The big room. And instead of Santa putting presents under a Christmas tree, he puts it around the living room because we might have too much to fit under the Christmas tree. Now I'm going to tell you something. We don't have a real one, we have like a plastic one. We bought it last year, so it's quite new. The plastic Christmas tree is... Yeah, it looks really realistic. <sighs> Told you I only just woke it up. So... Snotty for my mm, snotty for my cold. I like it. Oh yeah, guys. It's another thing I want to talk to you about. Oh yeah, sometimes I just sometimes my eyes water for no reason. I'm not even sad when my eyes water. Sometimes, just does it like on my. I had a cold do that me I start to water sometimes. I don't know why. I'm not even potentially trying to do it. Just automatically does it. I mean I don't want it to do it because I don't want people to think I'm crying. Because I'm not. My eyes just water. For no reason. Sometimes. Oh yeah, the, I think the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is actually, yeah, you know, thumbnails. Thumbnails are like, you know, things that attract viewers to your YouTube videos. It's just like, it's like a symbol for what your video is going to look like. Well, sometimes the thumbnails are different to what the video actually is content. And that's sometimes clickbait because you make it look really exciting, really fantastical in the thumbnail, but then it's just a boring old video which you actually don't do anything in. And people will also stay around there for quite a long time because they're waiting for something exciting to happen. Then just watch a whole entire video, and bam. It's finished. Nothing doing in it. That's called clickbait. I'm sure you know what it is anyways. Sometimes that happens on YouTube. And stuff. I've been clickbaited before. It's really not nice. Sometimes, like, but you can't always trust the thumbnail. That's what you're gonna say. You can't always trust it. If you always trust it, you'll get clickbaited quite a lot. So that's why you can't always trust it. And the title. You can't always trust the title either. But I think the thumbnail is the main thing that attracts viewers rather than a title. So it actually brings more content to view and that stuff but that's not actually what I want to talk to you about thumbnails not clickbait and stuff but what I want to talk to you about is I'm trying to get better thumbnails for my videos I am I really am but it really hard I tried to put down another photo for last video's thumbnail but then you have to be verified to do it and I'm not verified so I put in my mummy's phone number 
and then bam it says you can only do two phone numbers per year why that Ugh. I guess I'm gonna have to be verified in 2020 instead This really annoys me. YouTube, I only two per year. Can you please just increase that number a bit? Because I'm really trying to get verified. And I can't. Because I already put in two phone numbers already, probably. That's bonkers. It's barmy. Why does YouTube add a maximum number of phone numbers? I just don't understand. Please call me double and why. Hopefully they don't just do it for the sake of it, they actually have a reason to do it. Otherwise they'll be even more unimpressed, cross and angry with YouTube. <laughs> Sorry guys. I really have a cold and I don't like it. Luckily I'm still going to a theme park though. That's a good thing. So... Yeah. So, one day you might just see that phone number. In... What do you mean phone number? You might just see that thumbnail in 2020. I'm sorry guys, you have to wait for that long. I'm really disappointed too. Especially with YouTube for adding a maximum. Amount per year. A year's 365 days. That's a very long time. No one can only put two. If you put more than two in that time, you're just going to have to wait a whole year until you do the next one. That's one whole loop around the sun. Do you think how far that is? How long that is? Yeah, I know, it is ages. You've experienced what you is like once, surely. Yeah, you have. Because a year, like, last year. It's been one year since, uh, 31st November. Or the 30th, I don't know. Yeah, the 31st. November 31st November one year since the 31st November 2018 how quick has 2019 been exactly wait can I just see how long 13 minutes this video was 30 minutes long I didn't even notice people who are not verified can only go up to a maximum of 15 minutes and I'm not verified so I'm going to have to, unfortunately, shut this video down. But I hope you enjoyed. See you later, guys. Goodbye.